I recently took the plunge into the world of Forerunners after I sold my Montero. The Montero had a large storage area under the floor in the very back for recovery gear and camping stuff. Forerunner is missing this lovely feature, so it's time to spend some money on a roof rack. After much deliberation, I chose the Prinsu 94% based on looks. The bonus fact, it could have a 40 inch light bar being recessed into its fairing. I'm making this little video because there is both jack and shit available for assembling and installing these on the 4th gen 4Runner. The rack came with no instructions whatsoever, so that's what this video is for. There will also be a few more videos on the accessories and setup of actually installing it to the 4Runner. Let's toss this thing together, shall we? Now the rack did come with clearly labeled baggies with hardware in it. it tells you what hardware you need to mount it onto the roof, what hardware you need to mount the slats together and the wind deflector. What it didn't say is how that stuff is supposed to be assembled or torque specs or anything else important relating to that. That being said, it's about as easy to put together as a Lego set once you figure out where everything goes. There's a few things that I picked up along the way that are gonna make your life a little bit easier when putting it together and I'll call those out in just a few. I started off by laying all the pieces out kind of resembling what they would look like if it was fully assembled. This helped me kind of understand how the rack was supposed to work. Then I went ahead and started tackling the wind fairing. My first attempt, I put all of the hardware into the T-slot first and tried to line it up with all of the holes on the fairing. That made me frustrated and I wanted to crumple it up and throw it into the garbage. I found that assembling the hardware onto the fairing first works a lot better and then using these slats here to slide it down into the T-slots worked much better and made me less angry. I did use a dab of Loctite on each one of these to make sure that they don't work themselves out over time as this is front facing on the car and getting beat up by wind all the time. Now that you have all the hardware installed into the fairing, let's attach it to the T-slot bar. Lining up the T-slot hardware can be a bit of a challenge as well, but once you get it, it's pretty easy. Just line each set up and push down onto the fairing until it's flush on both sides, and you're good to go. Now I laid out each one of the bolts, the lock washers, and the washers on each side to make things a little bit easier for me when I was going through and putting them all together. You don't have to do this, it's just something that I did. While I was doing this, I went ahead and I put Loctite on every single one of the bolts as well. Once I did that, I zipped everything down loosely and then went back and gave it the final tighten. This put the rack into its form that it's supposed to be in when it goes onto the car. Now, I went ahead and assembled the fairing to the rack itself. This can also be a bit tricky to line up, just take your time and make it work. I would previously left the fairing loose and went ahead and gave it its final tighten as well. I mentioned that 40 inch light bar from earlier and you can see it's got this cutout that fits this thing just perfectly. I did have to modify the brackets on this particular light bar and I'll show you exactly what I did here. This is what they looked like before and after. I had to trim a bit off because it wouldn't fit. It was hitting the fairing on the actual T-slot bar itself. Once I did that, I mounted it up just like it's supposed to be and it fit perfect. And it fits right up to the fairing itself. Very, very happy with this. Um, I'll shoot a link down below to the stuff that I actually used, this particular light bar, the rack, etc., etc. Thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for the accessories video when I put all my stuff on this rack. Officer Dan, out.